Okay, hi everyone, hello replay viewers. Oops, what's going on here? So, I'm just gonna go grab something, I'll be back in a second. So I know, I know uh, you're here for the cooking but it's an extremely warm day and I've actually, you, you probably saw me use it, not use it, but you saw me uh, unbox it last week and because it's really warm, I'm just going to show you it once, <laughs> okay, just once, it's links in the bio, these are the uh, um, what would you call them? Air fans. So it just goes on like this and it's very warm. I'm going to switch it on. Three settings. It is so cool. It is so cool. So I'm just going to have it on really gentle so hopefully you, it, you, you can't hear it too much. So tonight, uh, so if you want one of these, link's in the bio, link's in the shop down below. Uh, three settings, it's very good. So tonight we're making this. I've made this before but I'm using a different type of fish. So we're going to be making, instead of lemon and herb sea bass, I'm going to be using uh, lemon sole. Lemon sole. So we're going to do pan fried fish and we're going to do some salad, some tomatoes, cucumber instead of courgettes. Um, and we're going to do some bulgur wheat as well. And I've just realised my bulgur wheat is in my cupboard. So let me just quickly grab the bulgur wheat. Now, I sealed this up with uh, the... Uh, you know the bag thing let me just i'm just going to add it on just because somebody might want one and then so let me just quickly add it on very quickly i do actually have a set list just for a heat wave believe it or not but i've not added them all on so there we go just added it on so if you want in the bag sealer links down below okay so there we go that's that part done so here's the bulgur wheat easy peasy and i need some uh, vegetable uh stock as well which i've got in my is that the chicken stock i can't remember if it was chicken stock or vegetable stock paste i must have some vegetable i've got some vegetable here but you can use chicken as well chicken stock paste here we go so we're going to use some this one's got is this vegetable oh, it's like garden vegetable par parsley and garlic so we'll use that so, uh, and I've just realised what we can use is the electronic uh, spoon to weigh out the bulgur wheat. So, shall we make a start then? Let me grab my chopping board. So, uh, it's very warm. Let me know what the temperature is where you are. I think at the minute here it's about 26 degrees. It's quite warm in this kitchen, but this is not keeping me nice and cool. So, I'm going to put the fish to one side because we're going to... We're going to uh, pan fry that. If you want any discount for HelloFresh and you've never had HelloFresh before, then go onto my profile, click on the link, the link tree. It says linktr.ee forward slash Aiden Leeds. And then when you've got a list of links, go down to where it says HelloFresh and you can get £42 off. Um, and then you get some discount off your second box. But make sure to cancel if you don't want them every month. So if you've never had HelloFresh before and you want a you can get up to six meals, uh, I know that, so choose the family plan uh, and you'll get the full discount, you'll get a 100% discount. So if you want six meals for free, now this is where TikTok might say, oh yeah, yeah. So make sure you check the terms and conditions of everything guys as well. So that's your HelloFresh discount from me to you. Okay, uh, so let's get started then. It says here, first of all, uh, we're going to half peel and chop the red onion. So let's do that. Let's get a red onion out. A red onion. I've got some tomatoes as well. So we're going to chop these up. Let's get my red onion. There we go. Nice red onion. Let's plonk that there. What else do I need? Cucumber. Nice cucumber. There we go. Um, and a lemon. Let's get a lemon out. I've also got some coleslaw as well that I'm going to use. So a nice lemon, we've got the bulgur wheat, we've got the cucumber and the tomatoes. 
So, here we go. So half peel and chop the red onion to small pieces. I'm going to bring you down. Okay, what's going on with this? There we go. Thank you for following, guys. Thank you for following. Is this going to stay on this time? No. One second. <laughs> it never wants to hold. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Right, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to have to leave it like that. You can see it, can't you? Just So, we're going to get our onion. Now, I've got an item coming at the end of the week, which is going to be so much use, so, so useful, even though I do have a similar gadget. Yes, yeah, so I'm using a, uh, a knife, a, a bread knife. So we're going we're gonna to chop this up and it needs to be cut up into small pieces. So just get rid of the skins. I've got a little mini chopper. And uh, yeah, I've actually got two gadgets coming. I've got a, I've got a manual chopper coming, which is, you can just put an onion in and then chop, chop, chop away. But I've also got a big chopper coming, and it's very similar to to this one here. If I can find it. Okay. It's very similar to this one. You've probably seen them. I posted a video up uh, of of this, but it's a bigger one. So it's a much bigger one. Right, so let me just grab my other chopper. There we go, because this one's got the right blade on that I need. This one here. Okay. This fan is super cool, by the way. It's super cool. Now, I do need to cut it into quarters because... Oh, let's get the skin off. Get rid of the skin. There's another piece of skin here. And get this off. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So I'm just gonna cut it into little quarters, just like that. I'm gonna get my little container, and we're gonna slice this up. <laughs> oh, hey Becky, good to see you. Thanks for sharing, guys. So we're gonna just slice this up. You can't see it that well, but so the chopper that I've, that's coming, you can see the video in the in, on my profile, and it should be here next week. So we will be we're gonna have to say bye to this little gadget because this gadget has been my life for the last two years during the pandemic as well. So we're just chopping the onions up, but yeah, I'm, we're finally getting a bigger chopper. Thank you to. Um, uh, the shop name is called Seven Fat. Seven Fat. So if you go onto the shop, you'll be able to see the chopper. There's actually three different ones. So thank you to uh, Seven Chop for sponsoring this channel. And uh, my, my food will be even better. So if you're ever buying a chopper, make sure you buy it from them. For helping me with my cooking. Now I've got the onions in my eyes now. This is another problem. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to take this off. See, we've got a bit, little bit left there to take off. So what we're cooking, we're cooking fish tonight and we're doing a lemon and, it's a lemon sole fish, pan fried fish with bulgur wheat. So we're just gonna, there we go, nicely chopped onions. So I'm gonna miss this little tool. I probably will still use it, but. Okay, we've still got a few more onions to go in. But maybe you've never cooked fish before or you're a bit nervous about it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hopefully it goes well. I'm just gonna follow the instructions now. It's a different type of fish. It doesn't have any skin on. Um, so there's slightly different instructions. This is a brilliant little gadget. I actually got it from a shop called The, the Range. And, uh, sorry, Wilco's, it was from Wilco's and The Range, but they were, they were discounted and then they put the price back up. So you find it in the JML section. So, hey Katie, good to see you. Uh, but yeah, this, I will still be using this, but once we get the newer one, then um, this my, little gadget might, this will be useful for when I'm, uh, when I go to the caravan. So I can take this to the caravan with me. So it's because it's small and light. Um, so anyway, next thing then we're going to do is we're going to cut up the 
Uh, it says zest and half the lemon. Right, so we need to do the fish, the fish part. This is the fishy part, guys. I'm gonna. I said last time when I made this that I should have used a bigger bowl. So we're gonna get a bowl. We're gonna get our lemon, and it says zest and half the lemon. Now, do I have a zester? Do I have a zester somewhere? I've got a little zester, like you know, one for like um, parmesan cheese. So I'm going to use this. So we're going to zest the lemon. Try not to cut your fingers. And then we're going to half the lemon. So we just want the lemon zest. It smells real. Actually, this has got lemon, I think, already in on the fish. It smells really nice. They just love the smell of lemon. The reason I got lemons this week is because when it's really hot weather, I love lemonade, but not... I, I do like homemade lemonade. I've never done it before, but just lemonade from a shop. Or even Coca-Cola and like a soft drink with like a slice of lemon in. Oh, it's just the best thing. And it's funny that in England, in England, if you go to a pub down south, like in the southwest or in London or it tends to be in like on the south coast, you'll always get lemon in your Coke. But for in the north, you don't eat a lemon in your drinks. They don't give it to you in the drinks. You've got to ask for it. So... I don't know if you know, if there's a place that you that you buy Coke and they give you lemon, let me know in the comments. Right, that's that's the lemon zest. Let's just get all that off. I'm going to use a, either a spoon. Yeah, I'll use a spoon. Let's get all that off. Don't waste any. That's it. So that's the lemon zest. Now we're going to take our lemon. So we're going to cut, the, cut, cut this in half. But I don't think we're going to use any of the juice. It just says cut it in half. Okay. Becky says my mum works in a pub and puts lemon in the coke. It's the best thing ever. It's the best thing. If you can find somewhere that where they do that, it's. I will be there all the time. <laughs> so right, so I've cut the lemon in half. I'm just following the instructions. Um, and then it says slice. Oh, if you're going to use courgettes, have some courgettes. Okay, um, so um, Becky Becky says it's in East Yorkshire. Ah, oh, okay. Which pub is it? Do you want? You don't have to tell me, but maybe private message me later, because I do uh, go to Brid a lot. So uh, I think I know which one it is. I think cause you talk, you mentioned where you were from. So uh, <laughs> right, so we're gonna. He says put the lemon zest into a large bowl. We're gonna add some olive oil. Now, I don't have olive oil. I've only got sunflower oil but so I've got a little bit of olive oil not too much That'll do. I need to get some more oil I'm running out um, and then we're gonna add some salt and pepper so get your salt I'm gonna use Himalayan sea salt so a bit of salt dropping everything on the floor a bit of pepper All right and then we're going to add in, now if you're using sea bass, any sort of fish is going to go in this bowl. So I'm going to take my lemon sole. I don't know if it's got lemons already in this, or whether it's just the name of the, the fish. I've heard of lemon sole before. No, I can't smell any lemon. It's quite a big fish, this. There we go. So if you, this has got skin on. Look. I think that's... It's definitely the fish. Anyway, we're going to cook it as is. Put this in. I've got two of these. Quite big pieces, aren't they? So we're cooking um, lemon sole fish with bulgur wheat. And then we're going to have some nice tomatoes. It's a very light meal, this. Nice light meal. So I'm just quick washing my hands. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm going to get in there anyway. So we're just going to get in with that marinade. 
just uh, mix it all into the fish. Oh, this smells nice. Just massage, massage the fish with your hands or a spoon or whatever you've got a brush. That's it. Just let it just all get in there in the oil. Just just massage it. <laughs> oh, it's very fishy. But <laughs> that's it. So we're just going to leave that to uh, just put it to one side. Okay. And now I'm super excited. I'm super excited for this next part because this is the first time properly, 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 properly using the digital spoon. So here we go. This is the digital spoon, everyone. Now it says we need, we need 120 grams. So we need 120 grams of bulgur wheat. Now with this, with bulgur wheat, you don't actually have to, um, you don't actually have, oh one sec, yeah. Actually, let me just read the instructions. So heat a drizzle of oil in a medium saucepan or medium heat. And then once it's hot, we add the onions. We're gonna cook the onions until they're soft for three to four minutes and then we add 240 millilitres of water I'm guessing that's hot water uh, into the onion pan and then we add the vegetable stock we we'll bring it to the boil stir in the bulgur and bring it back up to the boil and simmer for one minute so let's follow the instructions let's, let's do the um, tomatoes first and then we'll do the bulgur with okay so with this Shall I use the quick slice? Let's use the quick slice, which is a gadget from our good friend Alexis. So, hey Melanie, good to see you. So, I'm just gonna slice this on, rock it to one side. There we go, I've got a nice chopped tomatoes. Let's pop these on a plate. That was fast, wasn't it? And then we're just going to do the same again. I'm going to, use, I'm going to do the cucumber as well. So just rock it. Got a nice thin slices of tomatoes. Right, let's do the cucumber. Oops, that nearly went on the floor. So with the cucumber, I'm just going to chop the end off. Cut off what I need. And the rest can go in the fridge. Take the plastic off. Oh, it still annoys me that sometimes the only thing, the item, you know when you get cucumbers, they're all in plastic. Maybe I'll have to start buying it from somewhere else, like the green grocers or somewhere. Okay, we're going to take our cucumber. Now, I want these into little strips, I think. Oh, no, we'll do it like with the courgettes. So I'm just going to slice this. There we go. Nice chopped cucumbers, easy peasy. So there's our salad to go on the top. Hey, Dina, good to see you. So our tomatoes and our cucumbers. Right. So let's let's now do the, the onions. Move this out of the way. Right, so it says take a saucepan. I'm going to turn this on. So I only did this actually about two weeks ago, but I used sea bass instead of lemon salt. Oh, that's good, Dina, that's good. I'm glad to hear. Right. So we're gonna add a little bit of oil to this. So just a few sprays of oil. Or I need to get some more actually. Add a few drops in there. Okay, we're gonna then add the onions. Uh, let's weigh out the correct amount of bulgur wheat and I'm going to put it onto a saucepan. So I'll show you how to use it. Okay. So what I would say to when you get your spoon, you just ordered one, yes, just ordered one Melly. So if you do want, anyone wants one, then the link's below. So this is the spoon. Y you can take this out, so you can just wash that. So then for you're not going to get this wet. Okay, so you push this in, just slots on like that. So you've got three options. You've got mode, 
you've got on and off and tar, T-A-R-E. And I didn't realise that the tar actually is on my other scales as well. And you use that to take off amounts that you that you're wanting to measure, if that makes sense. I've not properly looked at that. But what I like to do, so we're gonna and then we've got the hold button which we're gonna use because it does help. So what I like to do is press the on button, the display is gonna come up in just a second. So it's currently saying 0, 0. Okay, now that's moving, that's moving, that's so what you want to do is try and just get it to zero. So hold it as if it's a try and get it to zero. Or just press the on button. When it's at zero, press hold. Okay, because when it's at hold, that means the measurement will it will it's fixed at zero. Okay. Now obviously you want to measure, so we're gonna take out you can keep it on if you want and just hold it and then measure it out. Or that's what I'm gonna do. If I can get into the bag that I sealed. <laughs> They're great these bag sealers, but once you've sealed it then depending on how you open it. So I'm gonna have to get some scissors and open it. But at least it keeps it fresh. It keeps it fresh, so I'm gonna have to put into this. Alright. So we can do two options here now. You can put the spoon straight in the bag and weigh it out. So like this. So we're going to take our spoon, it's brilliant this, right, you're going to line it, just, oops, falling in, and then you're going to press the, you're going to unhold it and then it will measure the amount, are you ready? Three, two, one, 26.4, then press the hold button again, yep, so it says 26.4, we need how much? We need 120 grams, so that's 26.2. So let me just get a, a bowl. So I reckon one, two, three, four, five. Now it does. I don't think it adds up, so you have to keep a measurement of that. So 26.2. Okay, and then we're going to reset reset it. Press the hold button. Uh, uh, there probably is a way for it to add up. I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. So 26.2. And we've got 36 there. Or nearly 37. So what's that? <laughs> Can anyone work that out? That's the only problem. Until you can, you probably can figure out. So we've got 26 plus 36. What's that? 62 62 so 62 just uh, get that back to zero so 62 add another one another 38 so 62 and 38 what's that 62 and 38 That's 100, isn't it? Yep, 62. So currently up to 100, and then I need another 20. So we're going to press the on button again, reset it back to zero. We need 20. 19.3, I'll go with that. Perfect. And that's it, guys. Now you can change this as well. So just make sure when you press the on button, get it to zero, press the hold button. Okay, and it will keep, it will fix it at, at zero. So hold it at zero, and then you can press the mode button here, which changes it to uh, ounces. And we've got cent CT, I can't remember what CT stands for. Well, I should get these onions on. Let's get these onions in. The oil is sizzling. So yeah, a, a must purchase, guys. Brilliant. And there's the 120 grams of bulgur wheat. So. And then just to turn it off, you press the hold button, you press on and off down, and then it turns it off. Brilliant little thing. A must. Right, so let's mix the onions. I'm just going to cook these for a couple of minutes. 
There's the bulgur wheat, which we will add shortly. Oh, sorry, Faye, we were just working out the, the amount. But I think each spoon, I think what's best, what's best is to um, work out how much it holds and then you can work out how many spoonfuls you need and do it that way or you kind of know anyway. There you go, that's a bit better, isn't it? I can see. So we just added all those onions in here. Just going to fry these off. And they put the cucumber away. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pour the water for the bulgur wheat. So we need 240 millilitres. Put the kettle on the boil. Wait a minute, guys. So, yeah, I think it just takes some practice. That, so, with the spoon, you'll be fine, it just takes some practice. But it is a great little gadget. I think everyone should have one. So, uh, another two minutes on the onions. Hello everyone! <laughs> Let me know where you're coming in from. I know what the temperature is the most. This fan today is amazing. It's it's not making me flustered in the kitchen because I can feel the, the nice breeze. It's like a little it's like your own personal little air fan. It's amazing. <laughs> Right, another minute or two, another minute just for the onions and then we're going to add in this, uh, this th these are OXO cubes, range flavoursome blend of vegetables and seasonings, so it's like a vegetable stock paste, I'm just going to take this out, just comes in like a little mm, plastic again I know guys, sorry about that. This is ready for the water. I'm going to turn the pan down. Let's take it off a second. Who loves onions? Put a one in the chat if you love onions. And let me know in the chat, what do you have onions with? I love an onion gravy, but I don't like onions with hot dogs. Like fried onions, I don't like that with, with hot dogs, but I do like fried onions in the uh, in I also made if you remember do you remember when we made the savory pancake not pancake savory uh, what were they now these are they were like a spinach and cheese and onion pancake I think what was it do you remember we now have to make them again because they were they were gorgeous Just waiting for this water to boil come on water at least the onions are cooking nicely though. Now I saw I saw a steamer pot in Wilco's today, a new one. It was only twelve pounds. I'm considering buying it to replace this, but because this leaks now. So, oh hey hey cooks plenty. Hey, it's good to see you. Yeah, well, I remember them days. We went on TikTok, um, not TikTok, on Twitter live today, but it was very blurry. I think they've lost their uh, a lot of people, you know, TikTok, TikTok uh, Twitch, I can't even speak, Twi you know what I mean, Twitter. <laughs> right, so let's put 240 ml of uh, water in here. Let's get this in. So 240 is enough. That's it, let's get this in. And the steam in. I'm just going to mix that and then we're going to add the stock and we're going to let this come to a boil so it just comes in like a little liquid thing 
my jello, my jelly. All right, so we're gonna mix all that together just for a minute. So there's onions and that stock. Yeah, TikTok's very good for the quality. I'm, I'm very impressed, especially as a as a when we're cooking. You want to see the food. You can see it in super quality then that's even better so just mix that up if there's yeah, it's, oh, it smells really nice i think last time i used the chicken stock i'm not but this is this smells of the parsley and oh it smells really nice it smells really good okay so we're now going to add in the bulgur wheat so this is the bulgur wheat let's get this in so all we're doing is adding it to a stock and with onions just like that. You can easily make this guys out. And then what you want to do, it says, bring it to a boil and then take it off the, oh my, my headphones, not headphones, the, uh, the fan has just gone off. So that's lasted a while. That's lasted about three hours. I've had that on for three hours. That's pretty good, but it wasn't fully charged. It was only about charged to 60%. So I reckon, it would last about six hours that neck fan so if you're wondering how long it and that was on the it's been on the sort of like the second setting so i reckon it could last all day if you wanted it to on the low setting just 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 wanted to see how long because i've not used it fully so yeah that's how long it lasts before without charging so just gonna let that come to a boil now let's get the pan out because i need to make these fish I think this is a great recipe to make if you are if you just want a nice light meal. Oh, it smells so good. So it's starting to boil now. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm gonna take that off, and then we need to put a lid over. So I'll bring up to the boil, simmer for a minute, pop a lid on, and leave it on the side for 12 to 15 minutes. That's basically all you do with bulgur wheat. So let's put the lid on the top. I'm going to pop that to one side. Let's get this pan on now. Okay, now you can't see it. You can't see it, can you? Well, let's stand up. Come on. I need to tie it. One second, one second, one second. You're going to have to go around. That's better. There we go. You can see what I'm doing now. I had to turn it round to tighten the the thing up that's better isn't it right this is going to get nice and hot um once hot place your marinated fish on the pan if it's got skin you want to do skin side up and then add the remaining oil over the bowl cook for three to four minutes okay so let's get this nice and hot first has anyone got any questions at all so far are we good Right, so it's just just gonna heat up do we need to put any we don't need to put any oil on because so i'm just going to decline your invite but thank you for wanting to come on the stream but that's not how i work unfortunately um not not at the moment anyway well i'm busy uh so skin side down i think these are skinless actually but i'm just gonna i'm just so these are the fish this is the fish we can do both at the same time. So we marinated in some lemon zest. You could put a little squeeze of lemon on there, but I guess, I guess it's got all that. We can do that at the end, I reckon. You don't need to add the lemon juice on. It's got salt and pepper as well. So we're just waiting for this to heat up and then we will go for it. Just gonna give it another, another 60 seconds. Okay, any questions? Let me take this fan off because yeah, that's the fan guys if you wanted to get one of the fans links in the bio links in sorry not in the bio in the down below in the shop oh it smells really nice already oh, it smells really good okay so this is nice and hot now so we're gonna add the fish skin side up first of all i don't know if that's skin or not but let's add this in three to four minutes 
just like that. I wash my hands. Now, I've never cooked lemon sole before, so I don't know if the actual timings differ. But you'll know when fish is cooked uh, when it's opaque in the middle. Okay. Oops. We're we still on. Can you all hear me? Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Just gonna just try and put a goal up. Where's it gone? I will go with the heat wave, I think. There we go. Seeing we're in a bit of a heat wave. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? You can hear me. Oh, good, good. Just double check. Just double checking. Right. See, this has flipped over, so I just need to make sure that this is cooked or cooks. It might have been better doing it one at a time, actually. I don't know if that's skin or not. It says it's skinless. That looks like skin to me. Oh, turn the, I should have turned the pan right up. That looks like skin. Maybe it's... It does look like skin, but it says it's skinless for some reason. Now let's get all this extra oil on here. Don't worry, I'll make sure it's all cooked. It smells really good. It's just a waiting game. Waiting game? Waiting game now, guys. So three to four minutes. It also says there, to get crispy skin on the fish, don't move it around when it's cooking. Skin side down. Oh, skin side down. <laughs> yeah, skin side. Oh, the skin side's got to be down. Ugh. Let's try that again then, guys. I think that's skin, but we can turn it back over, don't worry. Oh, look at that. So we'll need to turn it back over. It smells really good. Right, we need two plates ready because it's start to uh, have them ready in the background. So three to four minutes on each side. So we've got another at least eight minutes to go. Then I'll know it's fully cooked. That's for sea bass, so I think it's the same timings for for this type of fish. Okay. Um and then it says, when everything is ready, fluff up the bulgur with a fork and stir through tomatoes, chopped courgettes, parsley, lemon juice, salt and pepper. And then, but we're not using courgette. You could also grill the fish as well if you wanted to. I never thought about grilling it in the uh, in your air fryer. Smells really good. So I'm just waiting for it to cook, and then so I'll give it another two more minutes, and then I'll flip it over because <coughs> I was waiting for the pan to heat up as well. But it smells so good. Shall I uh, show you how the bag thing works? This is the uh, bag sealer. See there, all the wheat bag. Oh, so I'm just gonna I'm 
going to seal this up. Seal this. So just hold it down for a few seconds and then just drag it. Sometimes it takes a while to heat up. Should have sealed up. Yep. Like that. See how it's sealed up? I'm just going to do the other end really quickly. Just keeps everything fresh. But the old fashioned way works too with a peg or Uh, nice and sealed up. Right, I think we're ready to flip this over. So it's not stuck, is it? Oh, let me get a proper fish slice. That's why it's called a fish slice. Nice and crispy. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. And flip. Just going to give that another couple more minutes. This smells really nice. Oh, thank you for the follow, Penny. Mmm. Alright, we're going to get the bulgur wheat. Let's have a look at the bulgur wheat because this was left on the side. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. We're going to get a fork and fluff this up. Look at that guys, bulgur wheat with onions in that nice vegetable stock. So I'm going to start to put this on a plate whilst the fish is cooking. You can totally see that side, but either get a spoon and put it on your plate. And just spread it on the plate. I'll show you in just a second. Maybe you can see the second one. I love all the wheat. I think if you're a bit fed up of rice all the time, be honest guys, we all we all can get fed up of rice. Then bulgur wheat is definitely something to give it to try. Especially on hot days. So that is my bulgur wheat. We're now gonna add on the, uh, some cucumbers. Put a few cucumbers on here. You can use courgettes instead if you want. Then we're going to put the tomatoes on. Just like that. So this is lemon sole, but I'm never. I'm not quite quite sure how long to cook it for. So it just said three to four minutes on each side. Uh, I'll give it that amount of time and hope for the best. But if you're using sea bass, three to four minutes. But you want the fish to be opaque in the middle. That's looking really nice. I think that might be ready actually. Because I did cook it partly on the other side for a, a little bit. So I'm just going to turn it over. Oh, oh the skin's actually coming coming off. It's stuck. So if you don't like the skin, then... Oh yeah, look at that. That looks perfect. I think that's done, so I'm going to turn that off. And then you can just take each piece. Look at that fish, guys. I'm going to put it on the plate. I'm not a lover of skin, so I'm happy for the skin to stay. Oh, this looks amazing, guys. Let me just break this one up. Some people like the skin, but well. I don't think you meant to eat the skin anyway, but some people eat skin. This looks so good. Right, move it to one side. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon. And that, that is it, guys. What do we think? Marks out of 10. So there's not a lot of fish there. That's just two pieces, two halves put on the plate. So marks out of 10 guys. 
I'm going to put a squeeze. Yeah, we can leave it on the box there. I need one on the other one. I think that's, that's cooked perfectly. So that, my friends, is how easy it is to make a simple fish dish. Mm. So T Paul says an 8.3. Thank you for your score. So I'll be back in just a second and we're going to try it. So just one second, guys. So hopefully it's cooked, that's the uh, question. So let's have a little taste. So we're gonna go in for the bulgur wheat first. Here we go. So it said 12 minutes to rest. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is so good. Right, let's go in for the, uh, the showstopper piece, the fish. Is it cooked? It's opaque in the middle. Oh yeah, that's nice. Mmm. That is really nice. Mmm. A lot of people go for cod and haddock all the time, but that is very, very nice. Lemon sole. Give it a try. Three to four minutes on each side. Opaque in the middle. And if it just comes off the skin, then you know it's cooked perfectly, okay? So... That is it, that is the dish. You see bass cook, put it in some like nice lemon zest and some, um, you know, salt and pepper as well. So, hey Patrick, good to see you, thanks for joining. So that is it guys, I'm gonna go and eat this now before it goes cold. Perfect fish. If you want it, you can do some potatoes or chips or fries. But it's not obviously, um, it's not battered fish. It's not fried fish, it's pan fried fish. So give it a try guys, a bit of lemon on there as well. Just forgot to put the lemon oh, look at that on the top. And super healthy as well. So there you go guys. So thank you for coming in. Don't forget, check out the shop down below. I'm not gonna keep mentioning it all the time. You know it's there, but do check that out regularly. And uh, there might be something you like. So take care guys, and have a great day. Catch you, catch you next time, bye.